This is my original Atari 2600 Junior that my parents bought me many years ago and uh, I'm gonna try to do the AV mod and you can see I've got some kaboom loaded in here and you can see the picture is rather fuzzy and it's also very unreliable. It's looking pretty clear now but a lot of times um, it gets very fuzzy. So I'm just going to take the risk and try to uh, apply the AV mod. I bought this uh, 2600 AV mod kit on eBay. Uh, this is the one that has seven wires on it. Four on the input side, three on the output side. It's not stereo, but it is easier to install. And this is my old Junior. And the instructions I'm following are at the link. Let's just, mine's a bit crufty. Uh, this is the original one I had from the 80s, so there's many, many years of dirt and crap on this, so I am going to clean it off. Serial number 860661449. So for the age of this unit, it's looking in pretty good shape. Very little dust here on the board. Flip up these tabs to get this metal off. I feel like I'm cracking open the crypt here. I removed the tabs, I suppose. Okay, so some more tabs to dry up. You know, transistor has three leads, of course. Oh, popped right out. Okay, I got rid of R17 there. Yes. Alright, I got one through. So the kit I bought on the internet has the board already pre-configured with cables. Okay, you can see on the input side with the four wires. Now notice on the output side we only have three wires. Okay, I got all the board inputs soldered in. We've got the 5 volt going to one side of the capacitor Q4. We've got the video going to the top side of resistor R56. We've got the ground going, the black ground going to the perimeter here. And uh, we've got the white going to A3. I had a lot of trouble with that one. I hope I didn't damage the board. Next up is to drill the holes so we can put on these all important composite jacks. So I'm going to drill each of the pilot holes 1.5 centimeters apart. This is crazy! Drilling a piece of hardware that's 40 years old. Okay, thanks to the helpful people on the Atari Age Forum, they just they pointed out that I had the plus five volts wired to the emitter of the transistor port rather than the collector. So I moved it and let's see if it works. We're going to use Kaboom this time here. So let's try turning it on. <gasps> and there it is! The AV mod is successful. So you can see we got all those tabs nicely tightened all along there. Let's put a toothpick through here. And then this one goes here next. And then this one goes on top. And then they're all lined up nice. And I will just use some office tape on it. 
And there's that little post, and it's set. There we go. Okay. There it is. All right. And then. Holes on the edges here, and I'm going to try to use these <clears throat> machine screws and washers to keep the case halves together. Okay, it feels pretty solid. Let's plug it in and see if it still works. Okay, so we plugged it in and turned it on and we have it working. You see, you got a nice picture there. Oh, it's so smooth. Look at that, no jitter. Oh, that's delicious. This uh, piece of plastic sheeting here has been on the whole time. We're taking off a piece of plastic sheeting that's been on for 38 years. Look at that, there it goes. Oh! It's pretty shiny. Look at that brand new Atari 2600 Junior. Look at it. It's chrome. Ah, oh, wow. Yeah.